Hey guys, welcome. Hope all is well. I made it to my camp spot. So I wasn't planning on camping at this spot, but plans didn't turn out how I expected them. I'll go over that later, let you guys know what happened. Uh, I just want to get camp set up and start enjoying my time here. So let's do that. All right, guys, I'm having kind of one of those fiasco days and just things aren't going my way. It is what it is. I have camp all set up. Thank God I have everything situated so I can kind of take a sigh of relief. Here is what camp looks like. I do have to work on the firing just a little bit, but I ain't, you know, that worried about it. I'm just happy to have everything set up. Something I did realize I forgot at home. I'll show you real quick inside the tent. Uh, so I have two like, they're for like backpackers that do overnighters and sleep out in the woods and like carry everything in their backpack. So I have one that I usually set up right here so I can step on. And then I put uh, another one underneath the, this like little air mattress. Uh, I do that because, you know, when I go camping, you know, usually it's like very rocky and I, it's, you know, I don't want anything to poke my foot or that uh, bag and have it deflate. Luckily, I'm in a, I'm in a decent spot to where I really don't have to worry about that. So yay for that. Um, oh yeah, another thing. Um, so I wasn't actually planning on coming to this camping spot. I've camped here before, but I was actually, I'm in the Roosevelt Lake area. I was planning on camping right on the lake, but something that dawned on me right when I got there, right before I saw the lake was like, you know, it's been raining a lot. The levels of the lake are pretty, probably pretty high. And they were, they were high to the point where like the firing that was there, it was just covered in, um, or it had water in it. It was just, you know, that's where the the, um, the shoreline was. I checked out another spot to see if it would work lakeside. And I was like, no, nope, this ain't gonna work. Sorry, I didn't get any footage of it or sh to show you guys, but it is what it is. So I, what I ended up doing is I went to another spot where, the, where I was like, oh, I know where there's a really good spot, secluded, kind of peaceful. But again, because it's been raining so much and we've had so much water, all the plants have been able to thrive. And so, if you take a look right here, this like little patch of grassy area right here, it was just everywhere and it had overtaken the campground. And because it's off the beaten path, you know, I could tell no one's, no one's been there. This area really isn't that bad. Like it kind of ish is, but if you take a look, you know, it's not as bad as uh, the other spots. 
So I was like, this will work. And so my fiasco of just hoping to find camp quick and enjoy my day turned into me just running around trying to find a decent enough camp spot. Whew. All right, so I am just gonna chill for now and decompress and I'll get back with you guys later. It's been windy and my allergies have been acting up. I did a bad thing and uh, rubbed my eyes. I'm still gonna attempt to do a campfire tonight. I am hoping and planning that it's gonna be the exact same thing as last week where the second the sunset, well, I should say after sunset, the second that happened, uh, the wind completely died and disappeared all night. So I'm going with the hopes and plans of that. So I'm gonna start working on the fire ring. All right, got me some snacks. You can see I finished the firing. So I'll put the wood in there eventually. I did see some like dried up little sticks and twigs around that I'm gonna grab to help get the fire going. But I mean, that's not for a while. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy my time until it's time to start cooking. Oh, um, for dinner tonight, I am making mahi-mahi, some veggies, and sweet potato. I'm gonna do it all on, um, what do you call it, stove top. I was never planning on cooking with the fire. I just kinda wanted the fire as um, ambient, you know, just something to enjoy. So until then, we'll see what I get into. So I had to put this on because it was just getting so windy <clears throat> and the wind has pretty much died down. I don't know what's going on, but I keep forgetting to tell you guys. Temperature, it is 72.3 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what it is.
All right, so before I started cooking, which I am cooking the potatoes right now, the wind kicked in and it's coming from that direction, which you can see I put my setup right there on my tailgate to block all the wind because I had everything right here. So I'm cooking my potatoes right now. I have my veggies right here. I got my onions, my zucchini, and then I got my broccoli and my carrots. The carrots, the reason they looked all like small and misshapen is because I grew those. <laughs> so there you go. All right, I'm gonna get to cooking. So the sun has gone over my horizon. You can see it's uh, still hitting that side, but it'll be dark soon. Um, the only thing I have to do now is uh, cook the fish, which is right here. Boom. So you can see there's just a little bit of color. Looks uh, beautiful. The wind has completely pretty much died down. It's no surprise because I'm, you know, done eating or done cooking. Uh, but here's where the sun is setting. There is a little bit of clouds over there. I imagine I'll see a hint of color and then boom, darkness. I think I am gonna start the fire pretty soon. Um, just to help with the bugs. I did get my repellent out. But I'm going to start eating because I'm hungry and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm just enjoying the fire and the sun has pretty much all but set. You guys can take a look. There's that last little bit of light right there. That's it. So I'm actually gonna make some tea and I'm gonna enjoy the campfire for the rest of the night. And I will catch you guys sometime in the morning.
Good morning, guys. Well, so last night I went to bed around like maybe 10, 30, 11. I was enjoying the fire. And when I went to bed, the wind kicked up. <clears throat> it wasn't that bad, but every now and then there would be a gust of wind that would come that would wake me up and, you know, shake the tent. Now it's all kind of calm over here. I can hear the wind on the other side of this mountain. So I I've been debating whether I want to <clears throat> uh, do the fire or not. I decided not to. I was like, screw it. Uh, now I'm just, you know, just going to relax and enjoy, uh, enjoy my tea and see when I'm going to make breakfast. If I'm going to make breakfast, we'll see how the wind plays out and go from there. All right, time for breakfast. I straight up took a power nap. So the wind ended up just dying down completely. Now there's a light breeze. And I was like, you know what? I am super tired because I did not get a good night's rest last night because of the wind. So yeah, I went ahead and did that. I feel a little bit refreshed. I'm still tired. I was debating before, even before I took the nap, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make breakfast because I'm just too tired and lazy right now. But um, I have a little bit more energy now and you know, I'm kind of craving my breakfast, my potatoes and eggs. So I'm gonna do that, enjoy my food. I did start packing up if you wanna take a look. Um, after my nap, I, I started. So I got, um, what you call it, the tent pretty much all squared away. I just gotta take everything out and put it where it needs to go. But I ain't gonna worry about that right now. I am going to make my breakfast. my classic breakfast potatoes and eggs with a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers which I don't mind because I'm starving so it is 70 70 degrees outside if anybody was wondering it got to 47 degrees last night which it was still beautiful oh man lost some of the yolk dang it up real quick mm. Mm. Man, that's good it's farming too mm. all right i'm gonna enjoy my food i'll catch you guys a little bit later
So I've just been enjoying uh, the peace and quiet. My breakfast was delicious. It was a lot of food. I got stuffed. Uh, now I'm, I've just been slowly uh, picking up, cleaning up. I got everything out of the tent, so I don't got to worry about that. And then uh, you can see I've been cleaning up stuff, waiting for it to dry. And I'm just going to slowly start putting things away and getting out of here. But uh, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So I appreciate you, just like normal. Remember, it's only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care.